I live a life knowing that creativity is an addiction. And how do you live a life like that? By being aware with it. And not only that, but communicating with it. Learning what it wants, what it demands, what it commands, and how it's going to torture you if you fail to listen. Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Do you ever have one of those days where you get a song inside your head? And you just can't shake it. I almost feel like that I'm ripping off those that wrote the music. Because I feel like if it's playing in my head, shouldn't shouldn't I be paying a royalty for that? And yet when I talk with the musicians, and I'm blessed with the opportunity to talk to a lot of the legends of music, they sit there and they go, that's exactly what we reach for as songwriters. And we consider that one of the greatest compliments of the world. That you wake up in the morning and you hear something that we created. And you sit back and you go, wow, that's like looking at the Grand Tetons or the Grand Canyon or just looking at a vast array of of sunsets and things like that. Something that is planted inside your heart and you hold on to it for days that you can't predict, nor did you write them out. And yet they are there. And and that's what we should be grateful for. And, And so when you wake up with a song in your head and heart. How does it control your day? What, it, what is it doing to your moment of now? Do you believe in that in, in the spirit of its energy? Or is it just something that eh, you just picked up along the way and it's just another day? Are you grateful for the singer songwriters, the creative people that planted that seed that you didn't expect to hear that morning? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And today we are we're, we're reading from March 3rd, 2022. I remember as a kid that, that I, I, I could not believe that we were getting dangerously close to a, a new millennium, 2000. I, I was in the 1980s and I'm going, what, 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 how, how is this, how, how are we, no, no. And then once 2000 got here, suddenly it's become 2022. How is that even possible? (laughs) And we're going to talk about that. That is absolutely what we're going to talk about today. Thursdays are my Mondays and Mondays are my Saturdays. In an interview yesterday, I got totally lost as to what day it was. I was so embarrassed, only to learn that there's a lot of people going through this. The COVID-19 lockdown changed not only me, but a lot of people. And we're talking in the millions. Now, research shows that Fridays and Mondays are hugely responsible as a positive or a negative, and it does force us to forget what day it is when it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Whether it's a positive feeling or a negative feeling, it really does control how you think about what's going on in your presence of now. Now, there's a thing called temporal disintegration. A sense of time is governed by emotion and or experience. And yes, the pandemic has reshaped millions of lives. Now toss in Russia invading Ukraine. The rest of the world looking and biting at the bit to lend a helping hand. We are spending an enormous amount of time trying to get into a brand new day. And once it gets here, it feels like yesterday. So what day is it? Where are we? If I didn't write every day when I woke up and at night, 10, 11 o'clock, I would have no idea where the dot is on my map. So it's completely natural to not know what day you're in. Do you know what day you're in? See, I'm not where you are. So your day does not match my day. My day is Thursday, but it feels like a Monday. And the reason why it feels like a Monday is because during the pandemic, I took on an essential job. I wanted to be with people, so I got a job on the front line, and I go to work on Thursdays. But because I've been in radio for 43 years, my Monday was when I started the work week, not a Thursday. And so I'm programmed to think that, oh, well, today's today's Monday. Now, what happened during the interview yesterday? Well, I, I was talking with, with Tony Khan, who's the head dude at AEW, which is All Elite Wrestling. And, and he was talking about Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. All He was talking about three different programs that the professional wrestling team they have goes out there and does their thing. And I got confused as to what day we were even talking about. He was talking about live on Friday, live tonight. And what tonight was, was a Wednesday. And I kept going, well, I think it's awesome that you've got wrestling on a Friday. And he says the event is tonight and today is Wednesday. Oh, geez. And and you get mixed up because we toss days out there. We live so far up into the future that we totally forget where we are in this present place of now. 
and that's why I write. And will I remember any of this that we've talked about? I have to, because that's the reason why we were put on this planet, to experience it emotionally, to go through it, write things down, take notes of what you're learning in this moment, because trust me, when next week gets here, because you learned something today, you're going to have more peace then in the future. Get back here to the present. Get into this moment of now and respect it with mindfulness and gratefulness. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.